So the other day I ran into a positioning problem that kind of threw me for a loop and in retrospect I don't know why it threw me through a loop. I had some sort of weird mental block. Uh, but essentially I had a viewport with an overflow auto style so as to get a, a scroll bar when I had too much content. And inside of that viewport I had some boxes that were positioned absolutely. And um, here in our first example you can see that uh, on the viewport I have a position relative. So here's my viewport with position relative and here are my four boxes for top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right and these are going to be positioned absolutely. And of course we know that absolute positioned elements are positioned absolutely according to their most uh, their closest positioned parent which in this case is the viewport. And if we jump over into the browser we can see that uh, here's the overflow viewport and here are the four boxes uh, but we can see that the uh, bottom boxes are positioned relative to the viewport itself not to the content of the viewport in fact uh, when I scroll here you can see that they're not uh, positioned to the bottom nor do they stay in a fixed place um, and really what I had wanted to do sorry what I had wanted to do was get these bottom boxes to stay pinned to the bottom of the content so essentially they would be down here and the top ones would be up here and again, in retrospect, it's pretty obvious what the answer is, I think, but it took me a while to, uh, to sort of noodle on it. And the, the solution that I came up with was to actually add an additional wrapper to the content. So in the second approach, I have my viewport, then I have this wrapper, and then I have the rest of the content as well. Let me get rid of that word wrap. Um, and the difference here is that I removed the relative position from the viewport itself and I move the position relative to that inner wrapper. Now these boxes are going to be positioned to their closest position parent which in this case is the wrapper and not the viewport and this time if we look at that second approach we can see that the boxes are now positioned relative to the sort of more intuitive bounding box of the content itself not of the overflow viewport. Um, so, again, in retrospect, it's, it's kind of obvious. Uh, it took me a couple of days to actually sort of let this marinate and come up with it as a solution. Uh, I don't know why, weird mental block, what have you. Um, I will say as a quick aside that in this case, in the first case where we have the elements positioned relative to the viewport, you can see again that the elements do scroll with the viewport content. So their initial position is relative to the viewport, but they don't remain fixed to the corners of the viewport. Uh, if you wanted them to remain fixed to the viewport, things get, I think, somewhat more complicated because um, this scroll bar is only there sometimes, and it's only there in cases where there's too much content. So if you needed things to be fixed, you probably have to have sort of sibling containers, one for the fixed elements and one for the scrollable elements, but then you don't always know if the scroll bar is going to exist. Um, generally speaking, I would recommend trying to avoid situations in which fixed elements overlap with scrollable content. Um, things like navigation bars, obviously there's some exceptions here, uh, but it's, it's a user experience that I think is hard to get right. So uh, anyway, that's just an aside having nothing to do with this. This is mostly a giant note to self and, um, and uh, it's here so that I never forget how this works again.